What's good, YouTube? It's JD back with another video, man. Hey, look, I'm having some problems right now with my internet. I can't live stream. They're saying they've been working on my stuff for like a month. It's these cables. They got all these breaks in them. They're repairing them. They can only do a little bit at a time. Sounds like a whole bunch of bullcrap to me. But either way, I'm not keeping a good enough consistent upload speed to stream. So we're going to have to do videos for like, I don't know, man. To be honest with you, hopefully it's fixed by 2K19. Hopefully, uh, I mean, I'm put to you this way. If it's a week before 2K, if it's like three days before 2K19 and the internet's not fixed, I'm moving. Just like that. I'm, I'm going to be somewhere to be able to stream for 2K19. Um, we got a lot of different things to talk about today, y'all. A lot. Um, hold on one second. All right, so first we're gonna talk about first we're gonna talk about the Jake Paul and DG fight. All right, Jake Paul destroyed that man. I did not watch Jake Paul videos. I'm not a Jake Pauler or whatever. Um, be honest with you, I think I heard about him uh, like not even that long ago, maybe a year ago somehow through something with rice gum and i don't really know him didn't don't even know what disney show he was on or whatnot um but everybody says he's a pretty boy and da 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 da, da. that man that man that man went to the body on him let me tell you you catch jake paul in the street don't think he a bit don't think he a bit nah 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 I, I want to see him. I want to see him fight uh, Saluminati, Mister Talk all that shit. They need to get. How about they need to get Cash Nasty and Saluminati in there? In, in how many people do you think they could get for that? It wouldn't be no crowd like that, but they could do it in like a smaller joint. Mm, that'd be a good fight. Let me go ahead and plug these people real quick. Look them up online, then you might figure out where I'm at. All right, so check it out. Um, yeah, yeah, he was really, uh, I think, I think Jake Paul was in better shape than Logan. He had better boxing technique. I think, I think if Jake had Logan's, you know what I mean, was as big as Logan, he'd be a bad, man. he'd be a bad dude. Um, but DG stuck in there, man, he stuck in there. Uh, he lasted longer than I thought after the first two rounds went down. But you could tell when he was walking to the ring that, like, Jay Paul was ready. When he when he was walking to the ring, this is what he was like, you know what I mean? When you looked in his eyes, you were like, yeah, that's a dude that lives for this. Because you guys got to realize how many people were watching that. that. That show was like, it was bigger than a Super Bowl. You got to understand that. that. That right there was as big or bigger than the Super Bowl yesterday. There was millions of people watching it on online, and there was probably that that place probably held every bit of two hundred plus thousand people live. A football stadium. Think about a football stadium. A football stadium care about eighty thousand people. A big one, eighty thousand people. There was like twice that there. And then, like, way more than that watching it online. So, and then you got to make a video explaining yourself, win, lose, or draw. You feel me? That's a lot on the line, dude. That's a lot. And when DG walked down the aisle, when I seen him walking down the aisle, he was in shell shock. That his that was his biggest thing, and I think after the fight was over, and he lost in front of that crowd, that he was cool, like he could come back out in front of that crowd again. But I feel like that, like Jake Paul had been there before. He was, he looked like he was damn near a pro wrestler coming. His entrance was like a pro wrestler's entrance. You feel me? But hey, that's just what I comment down below. What you think? 
<coughs> about that fight. Can you be quiet to that door, please? All right, so now we're going to talk about the, the Logan Paul fight and KSI. disrespected in my own room I asked somebody to shut the door and they shut that one they walk out this door and then they leave that door wide open use your head a little bit I just said shut the door alright so look Logan Paul come out there right and he did this was crazy he said in the little interview they sat down right they did a little face-to-face -face interview the day before. And I remember Logan Paul saying to KSI, he said to me, he said, or he said to him, he said, I, I don't think you understand what, what it's going to be like when you step out there with the big boys and you get hit and you get hit hard. I, I don't, basically said that to him. And KSI kind of shrugged it off, you know, on his bad boy stuff. But that's exactly what happened. They got out there in the first round, and Logan Paul stroked him. And when Logan stroked him, Daddy. it looked like be quiet, Britton. It looked like it looked like um, he. What? You're fine. Push your mom. Push. No, no, I don't care. I don't care, dude. Stop trying to tell me about Fortnite. When Logan Paul stroked him, right, he, KSI was like, damn near dazed, to the point that Logan just kept jabbing him. He had a long jab, his stance was nice, he kept KSI way back. Every time KSI would come, he was hitting him with jabs, jabs. Then he was getting some strong, getting some strong hooks in there. And KSI was dazed first two rounds, but... Logan kind of played dumb, and he said in his interview, he said, the first round, you know, I'm going to come out there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you hard, let you know where I'm at, second round, I'm going to play with you a little bit, and third round, I'm going to knock you out, that's what he said, so, but in the first round, he had already hit him hard, and was already playing with him, I mean, leaving his hands down, sticking his head out there, Anytime KSI would approach, he'd pick his hands back out, stroke pick KSI a couple of good times, have him like days and whatnot. And but so I was like, dang man, he's why are you doing that? I said, if he just catches you one good time on that chin, it's a, it's he's right back in there. So then the second round come and he's doing the same thing. And I'm thinking to myself, he said he wanted to make it get to the third round, right? So this is what's going to happen. Either the third round is going to come and KSI is going he's going to be ready to go or he KSI is going to get knocked out. And by the th time third round came, Logan got to the end of the third round and that man was not prepared for the fourth round. He had it in his head. He had a plan. And he's going to go three rounds. He's going to knock him out and he's getting out of there. And I guess he had to train for that because Logan was not ready for the fourth round. And KSI was definitely ready for the fourth round. Uh, KSI started getting some in the third round. KSI started giving it to him in the fourth round. Um, I think the fifth round, <clears throat> Logan kind of come back and got some stuff at the end that really counted. That was some hard stuff. He kind of kept him at bay for all of the fifth round. KSI didn't do nothing because KSI won the fourth. Uh, they split the third, won the fourth. Um... Logan won the fifth only because of how he played. But by the time the six come, KSI won the six at the end. And this is a draw. Now let me explain to y'all something here. This is why this is why um it come to a draw. Everybody's like, oh my god, how can you do it? How can you do that? They had to. And let me explain to you why. Alright. There was a belt involved. There was a title. This isn't just a normal boxing match where it would have been like how it was been. Like, you know how before, the match before where there's, uh, you know, if there was a match where a belt wasn't involved or a win streak. So you got to understand, KSI is now 1-0, all right? 
He has a belt. Think of him as Floyd Mayweather for a minute now. All right? If you were fighting Floyd and it came to a decision, if it went the entirety of it and it had to be scored on a scorecard, they are not going to take your win streak and your belt from a score. You understand what I'm saying? That's why Pacquiao did not win that fight. Pacquiao won that fight. You understand? Blow for blow, big shot for big shot, strikes, and all that. Uh, even the you know minus of points for for foul play or whatnot. Pacquiao won that fight on the scorecard, but they could not physically take Floyd's championship title and his win streak from that. You have to knock. You have to knock him out. When you are taking a, when you were, that's and that's another reason they didn't give Logan the L because he won it, but they wasn't gonna start him off at 0-1 because he won that fight by the scorecard. They had to play it the other way because it would be they had to play it the other way um, so that it could be a draw so that it could make sense so they didn't have to sit here and explain all this stuff. They could just say, hey, the judges scored it as a as this. It's a draw. It is what it is. They don't have to explain themselves. The judges did what they did. They don't have to sit here and try to give you boxing, you know, reasoning and, and unwritten rules and why things are the way that they are and make you believe it. I'm just giving you the explanation of why they worded it as a draw. And that's why. They cannot take KSI's want to know from a scorecard. They cannot take strip him from the belt. You have to... In order to take somebody's belt, you have to go in there and knock him out. Or significantly have this man reeling. Have him knock down every round. You have no knockdowns. You know, just have him reeling to the point where there's no way that they could give it. You know, he's just in there because of his heart won't let him lay on the ground. But you have beaten him sub subduedly. You feel me? So that's that's why. And and I and I agree with it. Because you can't do that. You want to knock him out. You got 6 rounds. T the the man's want to know, he lasted 6 with you. He got you some licks in there. It wasn't too far bad. You didn't beat him too bad. Uh you should have stuck on him the second and third round. In the first round and stop doing all that dumb shit and that's why you all are having a rematch but hey it's gonna be lit the rematch is gonna be lit i'm telling you right now i'm gonna tell you right now you think that these boys ksi is already a better boxer than he was before that dude he fought before ain't nowhere near the size of logan if logan had to fight that dude that that ksi fought oh my god he would destroy them would destroy them that shit let me tell you so, comment down below what y'all think is going to happen on the next fight. What y'all think going to happen on the next fight. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. And yeah, I know this is going to be an extra long video. Uh, we had 13 minutes right now because I have to do a bunch of explaining about my internet. But we're just going to have it back. I am giving out the, uh, the codes. The codes for the two winners of the giveaway that are left to give away. I'm going to be giving them to them next week. Um... After I give it to them and I get the confirmation back on Twitter that they got it and everything's good like that, then I'll make a little video on that for y'all, showing you, I mean, gifting the subscribers the money and all that good stuff. Um, we did get this skin. Uh, we got back on Fortnite. Our Madden. Um, our Madden 19, we hit 85 overall. Uh, we have a bunch of 86, 87 overall NAP players we can't do nothing with. We took our entire team. We sold them. I got like 480,000 coins and then now I'm gonna chill with Madden because they're coming out with all this stuff where like the players keep getting better like each week. Um, they're coming, you know, 91s, 92, 93s, and, and it's gonna keep. And then you gotta keep like buying cars, selling cars, buying cars, selling cars. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm chill with my 40, 480k. Uh, I'm gonna chill with that. I think it's like four, yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna chill with that, and then. Uh, 
and then like halfway when playoffs start, I'm gonna get back on 2K19 because then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be far into 2K or yeah, I'm gonna get back on Madden because I'm gonna be far into 2K19 by the time playoffs start. Um, cards are gonna be more consistent overall. So they're gonna be a lot cheaper. Um, I hop in there and spend a hundred, then spend my coins, have a nice little guy squad, and then I have a bunch of money spent on the game all year long. So we're gonna play we're gonna play Fortnite till 2K19 comes out. We did get some. I mean, this is what my account looked like for y'all that don't know. I mean, this is what I got. I started season three. You feel know I me? Mean? So, got all these. Then we get into the legendaries. Look at that 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. God, how much is that? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 140. And then we get down into here. That's not really that much. It's like 200, and then the battle passes. Like a little over two hundred on. Oh yeah, we 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 bugging. Hold on, hold on. we bugging. Yeah, these these are what gets you right here, my guy. These pickaxes, these ones was high. Oh yeah, these was high. Mm hmm. Yeah, I forgot all about that. And these things that. Oh right, hold on. These things ain't cheap neither. You know what I mean? I to count. Look, so this man is blowing me up. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right now. Um, comment down below if y'all want a video of me doing some gameplay. I've been catching, I've been destroying people. Let me know if I should go ahead and edit a edit a montage of uh, Fortnite. Because, I man, I got so many clips of me going off here lately. Um, let me know if y'all want me to take the time to put it all together. And if not, I won't do it. You feel me? If y'all want me to just wait till I start streaming, don't forget about your boy JD. His internet gonna come back soon, my guys. I'm telling you. It's gonna come back soon, man. 2K19, we ready. We ready, baby. Alright, man. It's JD. I'm out. Ski.